Fifty Shades of Grey. Thank God, Allah, Jehovah, Shiva, Yahweh, Jupiter, Zeus, and any other deity that has ever been worshipped throughout the history of mankind is... Well, Fifty Shades... God damn it. I need to stop doing these long-winded uh, intros, but basically Fifty Shades Freed is the third and final entry into this love story of Anastasia and Christian. You know, and as soon as the film starts, Anastasia is, ma is now married to Christian. You know, the billionaire CEO of a company that I'm really not sure what exactly they do. It's just some kind of company that happens to buy up other companies, and then he leeches the money off of it. Anyway, this CEO, as we know, really likes spanking Anastasia, and she likes it too sometimes, but uh, in between the multiple vacations, pop music, uh, music video-like moments, and the product placement all throughout the film, there seems to be this semi-narrative involving a threat from the couple's shared past that resurfaced to destroy them, and that's pretty much it. I should have done this review a while ago, like back in uh, February of 2018 when it actually came out, but I couldn't get myself to actually do it because I have always hated this uh, franchise and just the idea of it and anything tied to its name ever since I saw the first film, and I'm not surprised. I'm sure none of you are surprised, especially those of you who've been with me since the beginning, that I'm bashing on this uh, series because I've done reviews on the other two, and I'll actually leave links in the description below, but I fucking hate this franchise. I'm not even going to do a pro and con list on this movie. This movie is just as bad as the two that came before it, although definitely not as um, cringy and didn't make me shudder as much as the second one. That one's just another level of stupid. And I won't even do a full video on it because I'm just going to be repeating a lot of the points that I've had for the last two, and I'd rather this... I'd rather this have a little bit more substance to it than just repeating points that I've said before. And I don't want to really waste anybody's time. Nothing has improved. No characters have gone, uh, undergone any kind of development, and it's pretty much everything you already expect, especially if you've seen the other movies. I, I just, I don't know. I'm, this movie is really just them going on vacation, having sex occasionally, and then like in the last 10 minutes some action happens for some reason, you know, kind of like in the previous entry, only it, it didn't feel as random, but eh, that's not saying much. And I will admit that any car chase sequence or any semblance of an action sequence in this movie is pretty entertaining and awesome, but not because of how they're crafted or how they're shot or anything like that. It's just mainly because you're looking at the screen in disbelief that this film has these sequences. And I will say that this movie did have a moment that I did really like, and it it was kind of in a sort of, you know, ha ha ha, this is, this is bullshit, but I'm going to enjoy it as much as I can kind of moment. It's at the end of the film where Anastasia is peeking out from behind a hallway into the main living room, and she's watching Christian p play the piano, and while, while an Ellie Golding song, a uh, pop song, plays in the background, we get these flashbacks of what has been going on throughout the film, and it's, it, it, they're trying to make it feel like this really epic moment, and like, just ha making you feel like it's really sad that this is ending, but it was funny because this is exactly what the Twilight movies did, and I just kept laughing throughout because... It was funny that this Twilight fan fiction was still trying to ride on the coattails of Twilight to be Twilight uh, during its final breaths. And also, I could feel I feel like this kind of uh, sequence is worthy of a different franchise. I mean, I could see the reason why it worked for something like Twilight, despite uh, the overall backlash at the time and afterwards. Um, because the, the film franchise was big, it, it was earning big money in the box office, and the implications that the Twilight books and movies had on pop culture at the time d definitely did not go unnoticed, I kind of understand that. But it was laughable because the entire Fifty Shades uh, um, Freed movie had this sort of 
I don't know. <laughs> Just because the, it had this ending sequence, you know, making it come across as though we are seeing it uh, at the end of an era, and it's supposed to be a bittersweet moment, <laughs> well, for myself, and my wife and most everybody else in the theater, it was just a triumphant moment. And these films are finally, these films were finally done, and now we can no longer look look forward to them or think about them. Unless, of course, we're looking at future product, uh, projects for Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson, where we can look back and say that they've either improved since Fifty Shades, or just saying, look, I don't know. Just look how far they've come. I mean, I don't know. Either way, I'm I'm officially done with this with this franchise. I'm just uh, now I can move on to other things that I can enjoy. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, I do want to mention one little thing. I am gonna do a sort of catch up thing. And uh, I'm about to go into a new work schedule, so I'm gonna work around that. All of uh, all of the new current reviews will be drop will start dropping in a couple of weeks uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, I'll try to put out a um, an actual schedule for you guys in my channel description, and then whenever I do catch up, I'm going to schedule those uh, videos for for Wednesdays, like no matter what. So. Yeah, if this, hopefully this one dropped on a Wednesday, and then this will be the start of something. I'll try to do two films at once so that I can get those out of the way and then start doing the movies that I, I particularly feel like I want to review at the time or that I just, you know, I don't know, you guys request from me. But anyway, that's all I have for right now. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.